Describe how you met Reeve. I met Reeve in my audition um, for Hades Town, and I walked in and I saw him, and I was like, "Oh my God, that's the guy from Penny Dreadful. I've seen your butt, and I really think you're cute." <laughs> and I thought I was gonna get fired because the audition was really bad. And then we became best friends, and the rest is history. Aww. Can I go? Should I go? Yeah. Do you speak other languages? Uh, not fluently, but I can sort of understand Spanish. Oh. I started. I tried to start to learn how to do French when I was in Montreal shooting a film, and then the film got shut down, so I stopped. Les garçons sautent. She uh, just makes sounds like she knows the languages, but I don't think she really does. Um, I don't. Okay, this is more serious. Can you remember like what was your most difficult moment in the theater? Oh, panic attacks during the show. But those still happen. So. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, those. Are, that's hard. It, you know, I feel like schools or like organizations that teach students about theater and performing arts, sometimes, you know, the whole mental health aspect of it is kind of brushed under the rug because the demands are so much and you're demanding so much in like younger bodies and younger minds who are still yeah. in development. So it's mm. important to remember that you know what's best for you and not to push yourself. Because also like, the, what we're working with, like the, our chords are like, like, Oh yeah. They're like, how big are they? They're I like, got scoped yesterday. My chords apparently are beautiful even though they oh, were tired. Oh great! That's amazing. So just a little red. I manage, I manage anxiety because I, I have it. I don't really have it in shows. Mm. I have it when I do concerts mm. because it's just me up yeah. there and like I can't like step away and let somebody else take the spotlight. And you know, you know, like I've been doing shows like the past couple months while doing little shop while being in rehearsal. Wow. So like there have been moments where I'm like, ooh, that is very clearly like not supposed to happen. And yeah. you know, you 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 know the uh, luckily most audiences are like really kind and, and they they like to be there like when things go wrong, mm. which is kind of nice. But it's like. What I end up doing is like, I sometimes will change the order of my set to where like I can use whatever a song down the line yeah. to like, to like help myself kind of go through therapy for that moment. Like, um, you know, some particular song that's really emotional that I can really, mm. I can just tap into what I'm feeling instead of just like trying to push it away. That's like really that's sort of like, oh my God, am I gonna be able to hit this note? I just like, oh, I'm just gonna like put that into the song. Yeah. And then whatever happens, it comes from a real place as opposed to like a place of fear. Absolutely. Wow, that's, yeah. I feel like too, when as musical theater performers, like people want to see us, like our bodies and like who we are, which is always like really nice. Like mm -hmm. when you're saying the audience is so nice. I feel that more doing my own concerts, like I feel like I can be a clown and say whatever I want, mm -hmm. do whatever I want, move how I want, sing how I want. In show shows, I feel really constricted sometimes, especially with the fact that you can't change the notes even if you're very tired. So that anxiety about the voice, which you know, I think people, more people should talk about it. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, listen, I mean, I've changed notes occasionally if I had to, because sometimes you just gotta get through. And, yeah. and most, most companies and stuff will, will be cognizant of that. But yeah, and, and, and you know, it's like when you go to a live concert of a band that you love, mm. like, if they do something like that's different from the album, it's like really exciting, mm. you know? I, I agree. I kind of, I kind of like embrace that. I I'm not agree. saying like change, go go nuts. You don't, you don't really realize it's like when you get stressed, when you get sick, the first thing to go is yep. your voice. I mean, anybody, and, and, and it doesn't matter where you are. When you get sick, you get a cough, your voice goes. It's like, oh, my throat feels scratchy. Yeah, well, that's what we have to use every day. Every day. And they and people expect. Yeah, and even when 100%. you're emotional, like think about when you're having a conversation, you're getting emotional, which I'm a very emotional person. Immediately, your voice starts cracking. So it's like you have to. You have to understand the robot. boundary and the balance. You're not a robot. Uh, sorry. What? Huh? I just glitched. Yep. Favorite show you've ever seen? Probably the first time I saw Spring Awakening. I was still in college, and it was the original cast. Wow, that's and, amazing. Uh, and I knew that's what I wanted to be doing because I was going to school for it, but I was still like wasn't sure mm -hmm. if I really connected to musical theater because I really like theater, I really like singing, I wasn't sure what I thought about musical theater, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I liked Rent and I liked like shows like West Side Story that were like really like, but you know, there was all sorts of concepts of what that was. Yeah. And I was like, that's what it can be? Then like, yeah, so I was really, that's definitely the one that sticks out first in my brain. That's such a great show. Yeah. I listen to that album so many times. Oh, I did too. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I meet people from that original cast, I'm like, 
Because <laughs> it's just so iconic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Describe your fashion sense. Oh, I love this question. <clears throat> oh, I love this question. I know. I try to get questions um, that you would like. I would say... I don't know. I don't want to like... Now I feel we're being perceived. Um, I love thrifting. I mean, this was eight. Dollars. This shirt was eight dollars. Um, these pants were from Goodwill in North Carolina. I believe they were twelve dollars. And I bought these shoes on Depop. They're exhilaration, which is Target. Um, I know. Um, I love. I go between punk, alternative, fairy, angel, fairy siren. Um, pretty much witch. Thrifty witch. Thrifty witchy. Mm -hmm. Love it. Okay. Okay. What are your special skills? Ooh. Um. I don't have that many. Uh, most people know that the singing thing, but um, the singing uh, thing. You know what I used to have on my resume. You know, I, uh, well, I don't do it anymore. But I used to be able to. You know, I was pretty acrobatic as a kid, so I could do like back handsprings and back tucks and stuff like that. I haven't done them in a while. Don't have to do them now. I have a, my knee is. Yeah, I would prefer. Um, oh gosh, what else can I do? Um, did you go to school for that? Or did no, you just no, like, did a flip all. in the living room one day and you were no, like, No, oh. I learned it I learned it from people who knew what they were doing. Wow. Um, but my, my only like real skill that's pretty incredible is I can make um, my hair look like a my head look like a toupee. Whoa! So, I, I have had hair, sorry. It's okay, I'll just check it out. Ready? Oh my god. I'm just gonna When did you that. find out you could do that? I, don't know, I looked in the mirror. <laughs> Oh, no, I know what I was trying to do. I was trying to wiggle my ears, which I can also do. Not very well, but. You can't is your see job? It that is with your job? Oh, there's muscles in your. Are there? I can eat those. Wait. <laughs> I can crack you my just ear. cracked your ears? Yeah, that is a ear. ridiculous special All right, skill. Alright, now say, come see Great Gatsby so I don't make you late for rehearsal. Come, come see Great Gatsby. Gatsby so she doesn't make us late for rehearsal. Ultra sports. Some, come see it.